Hello, welcome back. So today we're going to do another kind of day in the lifestyle, but last time it was a stay at home day and this time it's going to be both, I guess. We will be at home in the morning. We're just about to start packing orders. Justin's working on his weights, which I'll show you in a second. And I am going to start pulling everything that's sold. This is about two days worth of sales. Um, and then this afternoon, we are going to head to the bins. Um, we'll try to show you some snippets. We're not allowed to film at our bins. So we sneak a little bit, but I'm, you know, trying not to get kicked out of the bins. Um, and then when we get home, we'll show you what we got. Hopefully it's a good day. Um, normally we get there at 10 o'clock, but we have an appointment at 11. So um, we're going to probably not get there till closer to one, but they always take a lunch break from like 12 to one anyway, and don't really change. So we'll get there for the afternoon changing. All right, let's go pull some water. All right, we're out here to go over what's sold for Justin. Uh, first off, peep that golden girl shirt. I bought it for myself, but it was too big. So Justin thieved it. All right. What you got for sales? All right. There are four or five pound pancake style plates. I already started packing up, sold for $27.99. And I actually just listed them yesterday. Mm. So they went fast. There are two weight collars that sold for $17.09. So collars are what holds weights on so they don't tip off the bar. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. All right. Two five-pound Jack LaLanne plates that I just picked up a couple days ago, and these sold fast for $17.09. All right. There are two 10-pound pancake-style plates sold for $20. And there are these four... 10 pound, these are Hoffman Industries weight plates. They're vintage and they actually sold for $80.99. So that was a nice sale. You can see they're made in USA. And any plates I pick up made in USA, I always put that in the title because it does kind of, they always seem to sell faster. Tell them what you realized about weights yesterday. For pancake weights. Oh. <laughs> we do occasionally pick up waffle style plates. So I showed those I, in the last yeah, video. Yeah, they were in the last video. So there are pancakes. And oh, here's a pair of waffles here that I actually just kept these for myself because they're a little big to ship on eBay. He literally came upstairs <laughs> and was like, I just had a realization there's pancake weights and waffle weights. I think <laughs> men that lift weights just like to eat. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, let's pull the first item. It's 46. Oh, wow, right in front. Love when that happens. This, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen, is a, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Lafayette 148. It was a wool dress. Um, this is a very expensive brand. Like it retails for a lot. Sometimes takes a little while to sell, but um, I got it on a 99 cent day, which I was blown away. It sold for $35.99. Then we have an item from over here. These are like our sale items. $36.03 right here. Long, um, like summery and tailor dress. The dresses are definitely moving now. Got a 99 cent day. Sold for $12. One, two, three right here. Super cute. J. Crew linen, um, like spaghetti strap, tiered bottom dress. Got it at the bins, paid $1.32, sold for $28. Up next is a pair of boots. Um, the Stradivarius, I showed these. I think I talked about these in a haul, um, or maybe I just talked about that I sold another pair of them. They're um, related to Zara and Massimo Duty, but um, got these on 99 cent day. They're definitely a cheaper line but still sold for $24.99 and it sold super fast. All right, next is a Lacoste boy shirt, $47.28. I picked up two of these the same day from the same donation, obviously, at the bins. Um, wait, am I looking at that right? Oh, $47.48, not $28. Wow, sometimes reading numbers is hard. 
Um, I sold the other one already for, I think, $20.99. This one sold for $18.99, only cost us 41 cents. Up next are a pair of Olakai men's flip-flops. They only sold for $20 because though the bottoms are like in pristine condition, the tops were kind of stained, like the footbeds. I mean, you don't see it when they're being worn, but still. So $20, we paid $2.01 at the bins. Another clearance item, 47, 43, here it is. It is a Susan Graver, um, oops, cut myself off. Top, it has beading on it, got on 99 cent day, sold for $15. This um, is a Chico's very long dress. It was a shame. I bought it new with tags and then realized, I think someone literally spilled a cup of coffee down it. So I had to take the tags off. I washed it and I mean, it just killed the value of it. It's been listed forever. Um, I ended up having it in my like 70, I think it's now 70% off sale, I do believe. Sold for $8, we paid 99 cents. We'll still make a little profit. Oh, while I'm here, I do want to add, so these three boxes are, you know, the initial clearance. We started with 162 items and we're down, well, we were down to 63 less today because we sold some. And then I put another 100 on, I think just for like 20 or 25% off. This is another um, item in the newer clearance, 25% off. Um, they're just Breckenridge Capri pants. I think they're a plus size. Got them on 99 cent day, sold for $13.49. $49.38, yes. I showed it in a video probably about two weeks ago, though it took me a little while to get it listed. It's an L.L. Bean Hurricane flannel lined, like barn shore jacket. Um, got it at the bins for $2.33 and it sold for $35. This clearance item, 37, let's see, 77. Here it is, it was so cool. You'll see in the picture, kind of like a jumper, but, um, totally tie-dyed. The brand was Lily. Never heard of it. Only bought it because I thought it was cool. Paid 99 cents, sold for $20. This item sold the same day it was listed. 2013, it should be right here. It is Free People, We the Free, Fade Into You t-shirt. I'll put it on the screen. Of course, in typical Free People style, it looks old. It looks worn. The pocket's saggy. The seams and are like showing wear, but that's how it's supposed to be. But yeah, this shirt retailed for, I think it was maybe like $60, $70. So sold for 25. This is also a newly listed item. I took a lower offer on it than I normally would, but I was just trying to move things. Got them on 99 cent day. They're New York and company. They were new with tags, like slim ankle pants. Someone sent me a $16 offer. I was in the mood to move stuff. So I took it. These are some Calia shorts. I actually have three of the identical pairs, all new with tags, all the same size. Justin got them at the bins. Um, we paid 69 cents for it. Weighs not much at all. Sold for $20. And the last two items are over here on the clearance section because I redid all the clearances yesterday morning. So they're really moving. Uh, 37 35 It is a... Oh, 37, that's not right. I'm in 35, so no wonder I can't find it. 37, there it is. Um, it's a red sparkly Alfani sweater. I actually bought this right before Christmas and I thought hopefully it would move at Christmas time. It didn't. Um, I paid 99 cents for it, sold for $11. And the last item is a very old item. It's in the second box. It is a pair of Patagonia shorts, which normally I would think is a good thing, but not on these. <laughs> um, they had some stains on them, but I didn't realize when I bought it, paid 96 cents at the bin. And after having them for like a year, they sold for $4.75. Good riddance. I almost forgot I have two Poshmark orders. Poshmark was so dead for me for so long that I'm like, don't even remember they exist. All right. 42.10 to the back of here. The first one is a pair of Gloria Vanderbilt um, Capri pants. The only reason why I bought them was they were new with tags and a plus size. Um, sold for $20 on Poshmark. We paid $2.18. Sold for 
And then the other thing, 45, 43, it should be right here. Yep. Is a JM Collection wool blend sweater. I sent like a more aggressive offer of $20 on Poshmark because wool sweater, springtime. Want to get rid of it? We bought it for 99 cents. The total profits for the day are $341.41. Oh, funny. So um, I have, it is now 1042. So I have a little bit of time um, before we have a quick appointment and then we'll head out to the bins. I have a few things photographed, so I'm probably going to try to get those listed to get a jump start on my listings because a lot of times when I go up from the bins, I am so tired and then I end up with a zero listing day so i got five items listed and now another task i need to get done is um relisting things that are two months old so i've checked off oops sorry Try to do this one-handed all my listings that i'm going to redo so now i go up they all have checks next to them i'm going to hit actions and listings green to end all 21 items now those items are going to be located in the unsold so i go over to unsold i want all of them except this one's hanging out there because i need to fix a picture on it so i'm going to select the 21 and hit sell similar and then check up here that i want them all and then submit them all and now these all will appear as new listings with new numbers to get fresh eyes on them and these listings will all right justin ended up having a weight bench to pick up for free not too far from the bin so he left a little while ago yes i'm eating cold pizza went to the post office and then he was picking up the bench bench and then heading to the bins and now i'm getting ready to leave to meet him there with my cold pizza in my hand that round I got a Chico's jacket, new with tags, Elaine Bryant tank top, new with tags, and a Talbot's summer dress, new with tags. How's it going? <laughs> I was like, hi. All right, we just got home. It's like 5.30ish maybe, I don't know. This is everything we got today. I'll carry one bag in and when Justin gets here, he can carry the second. All right, so we're home. I have dinner on the stove. I'm eating some buttered bread as an appetizer because when your husband bakes fresh bread all the time, you get spoiled. Um, after dinner, we will give you a tour of everything we got today. Here's the bench Justin got for free. How much do you think you'll sell that bench for? Oh, I'll probably get maybe 40 for it or try to trade it for some weights. Alrighty. All right, it's now 6.30. We quickly had some dinner and now we're gonna show you what we got today. Um, we, we definitely got a lot of like good brands. I mean, not like, oh my God, I'm gonna sell it for, you know, $200 brands. So, well, I guess maybe one pair of boots or something, but um, for the most, it's just really good, like quality brands, I guess. So first off, I'll show you, um, obviously you guys saw a few previews of the cart, but there are two um, Chico's, they're the So Slimming, um, one size one and a half, which is like, I think a 10 um, pair of pull-on pants, you know, perfect time of year for these kind of pants. I mean, the print's a little loud in my opinion, but a lot of people like that. So was happy to find those. I was like, you going to do All something? Right. <laughs> I found a Patagonia Ooh. hat, which we always would pick these up. Uh, I don't, did you look it up at all? No. You know? I mean, I would think like 18-ish. I mean, 
is my guess. I could be wrong. I found a lot of new with tag stuff today. So this is the first one. It's a Talbots. It was $69.50. And it's just a cute, like, summery dress. It has a crisscross back. And um, it's, like, probably knee length. Um, what size is it? Large. Yes, it is. How'd you know that? Oh, it's on the oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wow, you're so good at sizing up women's clothing. So, um, you know, I mean, I would hope to get around 25 for it. You can go again. All right. Julie found this pair of black Converse high tops, which we always pick these ones up as long as they're in good shape. Fast sellers. What size are they? They're I was curious. Big. Yeah, that's what I was men's nine and a half women's 11 and a half cool the last pair i sold i think was a women's nine and they sold super fast for like 37 or 38 dollars something like that all right um justin found these prana um pants i don't pick up all prana pants sorry this flies down how embarrassing there we go but um, this kind that's almost kind of like hiking pants um, sells well. So we got those. I'll do two things since you have. Um, oh, to go with Justin's theme, he found these Patagonia like color block. Are they swim trunks? I don't know if they are. Board yeah. Shorts or swim. Well, trunks. they don't have they don't have a lining in yeah, them, so I wasn't sure. Oh, cool. okay. Plus, I was also like, well, they could be like hiking, but you're hiking and then you decide to jump into a waterfall. Yeah. You know, I don't know what these Patagonia <laughs> people do. So um, we got that. We're assuming they probably own the hat also. OK, I'll do one last thing. Oh, this was a personal. Justin grabbed this Banana Republic um, Henley shirt. He loves um, like waffle knit kind of things and he looks cute in them. All right, your turn. <clears throat> All right, there's a pair of Teva, just uh, like sandals, seemed like 18 to 20 probably. Oh, I thought they're... more like 25 oh, when I looked, okay. but who knows? Yeah, I mean, they're in good shape. They really just need a little cleaning. I love this piece. It's new with tags because it still has the button thing from it. But look at this gorgeous, like, full skirt. It has butterflies all over it, and it is soft surroundings. Um, it's a size medium. I looked it up on eBay, and there was a bunch list, and they're only selling for, like, 25 on eBay. And then I looked it up on Poshmark, and they seem to go for more, like, 35-ish on Posh. So, um, but, yeah, just a gorgeous skirt. And then we, I got this all at the same change. It was a very good change. This is a Chico's 4. I don't know if I've ever found a Chico's 4 before. Yeah, because remember when we got the Chico's um, wholesale boxes from Help Sea Source? Mm -hmm. There was one for it, and I was so excited. And, of course, it, like, was torn, and I uh, couldn't list it, and I was bummed. But, yeah, it's cute. It has, like, ruched sleeves with little ties on it and, like, beading around. Why can't I find the beading? It flipped in. There it is. Beading around the neckline. And it definitely seems like the larger sizes command a higher price because there just aren't as many available so i would say 25 to like 29 for that top oh yeah you can go i couldn't remember how many i did <clears throat> okay there's a pair of solomon hiking boots here uh they're in good shape they are they're gore-tex uh any solomon i would definitely look up but these ones were i think over 200 retail and still I think we'd get close to a hundred. Nice. Nice. Sorry. I just removed my boots. He talked about boots and I realized my <laughs> feet were very hot and they've been in boots all day. Um, I found two pieces of flax. We've only found flax one other time. Justin found a dress and we were so excited. And then when we got it home. We realized someone had like cut the bottom of it off and then used that horrid hemming tape. But, um, Here's the flax. They're linen. Like one is just a kind of like weird blouse. And then the other one is like almost like a button front, like long, um, almost vest looking with like the pretty mother of pearl buttons, but it has pockets on it. I have no idea what these will go for, but I mean, flax is supposed to move pretty quickly. Um, I grabbed this shirt. I talked about it in one of the snippet videos. I don't know if all the snippet videos will make it in here. So if not, but 
Um, Saris is this amazing chocolate factory and ice cream parlor. We have, um, it's in Cannonsburg, PA, which is like half an hour to 35 minutes from where we live. Um, and they started selling sweatshirts and I know my niece bought one and they were so expensive. So unfortunately this is only a small or I would be so keeping it for myself, but, um, I'll look and see if they're selling on eBay. If not, I even thought we could throw it up on Facebook marketplace because they sell these for so much in the store. Turns. Another pair of <laughs> throwing shoes. Tava, like fisherman sandals. Uh, these are possibly for me. I did try them on and they fit. So I'll yes. see if I don't yes. like them. We'll he just wears sell them. ugly sandals <laughs> like that. I try. But at least they cover his toes because yeah. his toes aren't very pretty. I do need a pair of sandals because yeah. my other ones are pretty worn out. He tried them on at the bins, was like, how do they look? And I was like, <laughs> as ugly as all the other sandals you ever wear? All right. Justin found these. You can hold one. I'll hold the other. So not the normal Chico style, but there was a lot sold. It's like these long, very, like, almost lagged look baggy dresses i don't know they have like roll tab sleeves um so he found a blue one and a green one but yeah there was lots sold so i was like all right we'll try it out um i got these new tags they're just cole sonoma pants either my mom or i will um get those if they fit me i get to keep them <laughs> if they don't fit me then they'll get passed on to my mom you can do another one i only have right. oh there's only one thing left Okay. You, oh, the hard goods. I think I just covered with all the oh. clothes. Oops. Um, this is an L.L. Bean 100% lamb's wool, like grandpa style cardigan. Has pockets, like the, you know, faux looking leather buttons on it. Um, so I just thought that was a very quality looking piece. Um, another new with tags, Chico's um, Flora Fringe Cardigan. This is also wool. It's like this weird, like fringed front <laughs> cardigan sweater. I don't know. Um, but yeah, since it was new, I figured that was on a hanger. Like the soft surrounding skirt was still on a hanger. That was on a hanger. Clearly someone just donated all this stuff and they just threw it out. You can talk about that too. Um, I grabbed this. It's Under Armour, which I don't grab very often, but it was really nice. It's United States Marine Corps, um, like men's XL waffle knit. So I was like, oh, that should probably be good. Oh, uh, this is an Eddie Bauer. Uh, it's like a puffer vest. And did you look it up? or No, you did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you said this looks pretty yeah. good. I don't so, remember what they were selling for. I like, trust you. Yeah, maybe in the 20, 25 range. And they're super lightweight, too. All right. This is another new with tags piece. It's a Lane Bryant. It's a tank top. Oh, there. I almost had it. It has crisscross straps in the back. That's where you lost me. But yeah, I just thought it was a really neat, it's like metallic teardrops. It's a 14, 16, which is like a smaller size for Lane Bryant. But since it was new... I was like, yeah, we'll give it a shot. And another new with tags, Chico's piece. <laughs> this is a velvet, they call it velvet striped tie-dye jacket. It has various colors in it is what I'm trying to say. And it's like a velvety That's pretty cool. jacket. Oh, I don't think it'll fit you. It's only a <laughs> women's <laughs> large. Oh. Um, oh, this was from the last bin change of the day. These are men's diesel jeans with a button fly. Um, I've sold, this is only like the third time I've ever found diesel jeans. I sold a woman's pair for like 30 or 35. I have a pair of women's listed right now, but I think they're skinny. So these are just, you know, like straight leg men. So I don't know how much we'll get for them. I would think like 35 or more, but who knows? Oh, you have that shirt you could show. You like that shirt a lot. Yeah. I wish it was my size, but it's a vintage World Gym shirt. And I mean, some of these were going for around four, like $50, but I don't know. Like a lot of them had different uh, locations on them, but this one doesn't. So that we'll could see, make it I guess. Yeah, I could be. All right. I grabbed this um, Travis Matthew. It's a... Um, 
that's like a golfing thing, a uh, golfing thing, golfing, golf wear company, but it's just a men's quarter zip long sleeve. It was in really good shape. It had like pockets. I mean, 20 to 25 for that. Um, these put your blinders on yellow Nike shorts. So I thought they were women's, but they actually are men's. They're a size large. Um, hmm. Sorry, I was just looking inside them. They have like the mesh, but it's not like mesh underwear. Um, it's just mesh lined. But um, there was a probably like 10 listed and there was about 10 sold too. So I was like, all right, we'll give it a shot. I think they're like 20 in the 20s-ish, something like that. Um, these are another pair of Chico's. These are a larger size. They're a lot, size three, but they're just kind of, you know, bordering on palazzo wide leg on pants um we got some mini clothes this here it's a build-a-bear outfit but if you look up build-a-bear denim you know it's like people were selling the jean skirt for like ten dollars i was like what oh. so this is a denim jacket the skirt and a cute little top so we were like we'll grab it it's i not. found this kids pottery barn new in the package the package has seen better days but it's a christmas set with the cup the plate the bowl and the i guess it's not silverware it's plasticware mm -hmm. um i could not find it i tried google lens i tried looking up and they just kept bringing me like the sand like adult you know christmas plates or even plates to leave santa's cookies out on but i know we have sold a lot of pottery barns did i is that a pottery barn it didn't pottery sound right barn. when i said it um mm -hmm. stuff and it normally goes for a good bit so i was like we're grabbing it i don't know if i'll hold it off till you know we get at least through the summer or if i'll list it right away not sure okay you can show your What's big that? item well i didn't even these are some riding boots which i always take a look at riding boots whenever i find them but then uh jolie look knew the name knew what brand they're they free were. birds um <laughs> so, car, what is it free, i hadn't heard of that free so. birds uh what was it oh yeah they just say fb free birds Cole yes on them yeah. coal yes that's it it's coal it's like another like designer i think it might be a collab oh, even okay. um with free bird but yeah look at these gold just boots they lace up the back um yeah these boots i mean yes the heels have some war, 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 some wear on them and stuff, but still like these boots can sell for over a hundred dollars used. So that was a great find. All right. So this is the best, might be the best clothing find. I don't know. Cause I don't know what they are exactly, but I found these men's like dress pants. They were in front of me in the bins. They need wash them. Well, they're good. Um, and as soon as I touched them, it was just like, that's why I don't wear gloves at the bins. Like all my spidey senses went off. And then I started looking and there it was. They're men's Lululemon pants. Um, I don't get excited for finding like Lululemon bras, tank tops, leggings these days. But normally their man's pants go for a decent. I'm guessing these might be more like golf pants or even like their version of dress pants. They have like a cuff on the bottom. If anyone out there knows the exact style of this, let me know. The size dot is in the back, but it doesn't have like numbers around it. It just says 40 on it. Um, maybe I'll look through the pockets. Maybe there is some additional information in some of the pockets, but I'm hoping these will go for a decent amount. But yeah, I need to wash them. They just, they smell like the bins. I mean, a lot of the clothes, like some of these clothes we held up and you get such a smell of laundry detergent. They were clearly just washed and most of these were probably donated today. Um, and some were new with tags. Yes, well, yes, that too. <laughs> and these, these, just they almost have a slight moth ball you know they must have been hanging out with something questionable so i can't wait to see like exactly what style this are like i said i got to do some sleuthing but if you know the answer you leave it below all right oh wait how much did we spend i buried the receipt hold up oh it's under my leg all right for all that we spend 59 dollars on the nose because justin is a generous person he <laughs> rounded up 16 cents so yeah, $59. So I definitely think that is an awesome haul. Obviously, your boots mm -hmm. will pay for it all and then some, and then everything else is profit. Oh, two of your boots. You have $200 boots over there. He's such a high roller. All right. So that's pretty much our day. Um, what do you got going on this evening? 
list in any weights or I look, yeah oh, gosh, i, I did hurts. take some photos earlier so okay, I, cool. can, uh, I have at least one listing of weights hmm, okay <laughs> i got five up like i talked about earlier today friday sometimes we just don't get much up it's it's really exhausting going to the bins for many hours i feel like going later is probably better yeah because they definitely change out yeah Faster so and... you know we normally i talked about i talked about it earlier but we normally go at 10 but yeah it was like we got there and it was like change 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 i mean there was times where you actually like sighed like not again because we had so much stuff in our cart and he had just sat down he got himself a, were you sitting on the floor or were you sitting i on was the on the, yeah i just saw okay the floor. and then they announced another change and he actually like sighed and i'm like normally we're begging for changes yeah. so yeah maybe it'll be anything because it was kind of nice we packed our got our orders up so now we don't have to ship on saturday if we don't ship on fridays because we're going to the bins we ship on saturday um, instead, and we got some listings up. Um, I even started working on the first part of editing of this video before I left. So yeah, it was definitely, um, you know, more chill and didn't seem quite as cray of a day for when you start at 10. He's possibly going to go list some weights and I'm going to go and try to edit this video. See, um, if you do celebrate Easter, happy Easter. We are going out to Easter brunch um, at a restaurant like fancy people. Um, after years and years of, you know, working our butts off for every single holiday, we're now going to let someone else do the cooking. So that's pretty exciting. We're going to gorge ourselves on yummy food, except their desserts are never up to my standards because I'm a dessert snob. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe, uh, leave us a comment below and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye. Go, go, Gadget Arm!